Hello, Dr. G here from naturalfoodsdiet.org. Is it just me, or does it seem like there's way more black box warnings these days? Now, the black box warning is, for drugs, what the skull and crossbones warning. You've ever seen that skull and crossbones on a bottle of some chemical? It's used like on bottles of strong acids or other chemicals that have the potential to kill you. So they want to warn you, get away from this stuff. The black box warning is something that the FDA requires that the drug company use this to warn you when a drug has serious or life-threatening risks. Now, Actually, there isn't a higher risk level than the black box warning. That's as high as it goes. If the drug is too risky for a black box warning, it gets withdrawn from the market. And this has happened many times, of course. Now, in August 2014, there was published in Health Affairs was a report of a study that was looking at the new drug approvals by the FDA between the years 1975 and 2009. Now, this study showed that since 1975, that about 4.3% of drugs that were approved by the FDA were withdrawn from the market. So those are the ones with the really bad uh, warning. We're taking it away. You can't have it. Now, the researchers also looked at the timing of the Prescription Drug User Fee Act, and this act was passed in 1992. It was passed by Congress to accelerate drug approvals and to accelerate the whole process by having the drug companies pay money to the FDA in order to grease the wheels so that we could have faster drug approval. Here's the idea. We need that new miracle prescription drug fast track to save grandma. Now, of course, drugs are the only way to treat medical conditions. So we need more of them, and new ones are even better. But I digress. That's another story. We'll talk about that some other day. Now, in my opinion, the question that these researchers had in mind when they did this study is, are new drugs that are approved by the FDA after the passage of this act riskier than before, or are they safer? Like, is this act making us safer? or is it riskier? Now, the researchers found that significantly more black box warnings have occurred after passage of the act in 1992. Now, they found that before the passage of the act, and this was the Prescription Drug User Fee Act, that the average drug had three years of study before it was approved. After passage of the act, this length of time of how long a drug was studied was cut down to just one year. Now that sounds risky to me. After passage of the act, the chance of a drug receiving a black box warning, or even worse, being withdrawn from the market, is one in three. Now it seems to me that a risk of one in three of a drug having serious or fatal side effects is really way, way too risky. But you know, it's all about the money. The drug companies are the richest corporations in the world and they pump millions of dollars into the FDA to keep it going. And really, the FDA is beholden to the drug companies. They need to do what the drug companies want them to do because they pay the bills. Now, one in three new drugs have the potential to kill or maim you. That's what, what the study showed. Now, to me, that's not good odds. For myself, I'm going to look for the causes of disease and not just treat the symptoms with drugs. Now, even though the causes of disease are not studied that much directly, it's really not hard to figure them out. Stay tuned as we will go through these one by one. Now, do you have a black 
box warning drug story? If you do, please post it in the comments below. This is Dr. G. Thanks so much for watching.